Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Indifon Tui and on this channel I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays. If you're a beginner or if you're a person that wants to brush up on your skill, I offer online courses. Um, I'm going to be showing a demo how to make a jumpsuit. If you're interested, please make sure to contact, send a WhatsApp number to the number that you can see on the screen. Please do not call the number. If you have any questions and if you have any um, requests for um, things that you want to learn how to sew, please drop the comments in the comment section. I'll be reading my comments. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a pleated skirt that has a paper bag waistline. Okay, you've seen the burial already and you've seen the thumbnail. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel because I drop content like this every week. Okay, you're welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, uh, in this video we're going to work on um a skirt it's a it's a, pl uh, a pleated skirt it's going to be a skirt that has box pleats and it's going to have a paper bag waist band okay so after the band you would see the pleats on top and underneath so now as a, um, it's a pleated skirt so it's quite alike with um any other pleated skirt that you have, that you have made in the past that has box pleats it just has a little that to tweak it a bit to um to what we want okay now there are different things you need to take into consideration when you want to make a skirt like this now the first thing you are going to take is the actual skirt length okay that's the skirt length from the waist okay that's the actual waist not the top from the waist to the bottom okay so i hope that the image on the screen um, is going to um, guide you okay so from the actual waist to the bottom we need to know the skirt length for mine it's 25 okay now we need to know how much is at the top okay so how high we want the paper bag to be okay so now for me for the paper bag i want that um, part there to be three inches tall okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to need to add the um the length of the skirt to that thing so the length of, of my skirt is 25 okay so 25 plus 3 inches that's 28 and you're going to need to add another 3.5 to the 28 you would understand what the extra 3.5 is so plus an extra 3.5 to the 28 is going to give us um 28 that's 31.5 okay so that means the length of the skirt before we start sewing is 31.5 31 31.5 if we add the allowance at the bottom of the skirt as well i know there are a lot of numbers but everything would um, become clear as we move along plus one inch at the bottom of the skirt so we were left with 32.5 okay so that's a lot of explanation i hope that you've i've not lost you okay now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to cut this 35 and if it's if you would need to join to get the length because you know that you are pleating okay so if you need to join to get the desired length this is the time so i would need to join so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure that 32.5 ahead of time i'm going to need to join them so i'm going to come from here you see this this is the area here that is long okay now one thing that you need to know about um a skirt like this okay one thing you need to know about a skirt like this is that is that um you, are, you would need a stiff fabric or you're going to need to stiffen the fabric now you see the fabric i'm working with this is not very very let's try it look it does not work so i'm going to just cut on this line now if you are not dealing with a very stiff fabric you are going to need to harden it um, at least the part that you need to harden is just that um, the part with the paper bag above the band. That area will need to keep standing, and for that you're going to need to add um, harden it. Um, you are going to need um, medium weight gum stay. If you have hard gum stay, that's going to work as well. Now, um, gum stay in case you are in the US or in the UK and you are trying to look for it, it's paperish in nature and it's it has an adhesive on one side. Um, so look for non-woven. Had, uh, had non-woven fusible interfacing i think that's <laughs> i really really hope that that helps okay so i'm going to need to cut this another time and i'm going to need to join it here to give me the length that i desire all right okay so as you can see because i'm trying to make pleats and the length of my fabric was not enough i have joined um i have joined my fabric together so that I get a long length. But if you are using a pattern fabric like mine, you can use this joint, you can, you know, turn this into an advantage. As you can see, if you look closely, you can see the line that I joined. 
that are joined but one thing you would notice is you will notice how the lines continue okay so by the time i iron this and place everything you will not even it's be difficult for somebody to easy um, it make it more difficult for somebody to spot that you had to make a joining here okay now i'm going to iron this flat you guys know me already So you can see here, uh, I've ironed it flat. Now the next thing, remember that when we're keeping our allowance, when we're measuring out the whole thing, I told you guys that you need gum stay. And we added six inches because I said that the paper bag, I wanted the paper bag to be three inches um, before you get that, 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 the paper bag waistline. I wanted it to be three inches before you get to my waistband, to my waistline. And I said that I will need to harden the fabric. So now to harden it, I'm going to use um, hard gum stay. Okay, so here in front of me, I have hard gum stay. Now remember that the waistline was three, that I said I wanted three inches. So now I'm going to have to cut three inch strips out of this paper to be able to make, to glue it to the parts that will be the paper bag. Remember I told you guys that that area has to be stiff so that it stays up at all times. But if you are going to, if you have a fabric that is hard already, you don't necessarily need something as, um, as you don't need to add this if the, if the fabric is like really, really hard. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark three inches. Remember I told you guys that three inches for the height of the waistband. So I'm going to come here. To help me cut a very very straight it's going to help me cut in a straight line because i want the three inches to be consistent throughout you don't want the paper bag dancing or you don't want what you are cutting to not be straight so please make sure that you always take your time like you've seen me do here now that's the first of many that's the first of many. I'm going to need to do um, some of that until I get to the end of my fabric. Now, what I'm going to do is this. Okay, when you're about to place this on top of this, um, on top of the other side, what you would do is you're going to come half inch after. So, if you notice here at the top, I'm keeping the paper half my gum stay, sorry, half inch away from the top. Okay, half inch away from the top, and then we're going to iron this from here all the way down okay so now you can see i have done that from the beginning all the way down to the end you can see the gum stay continues okay now the next thing we're going to do is you have to fold it okay so starting from here in the very beginning what we're going to do is you see the top part that half inch i kept on top of the band okay that half inch i kept on top of the band you're going to fold it in like so and then you're going to iron it So when you're done with that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to now collapse the whole thing. So you see right on the edge here, on the edge of the um, gum stay here, I need you to collapse the whole thing like this. You see that? I need to collapse the whole thing like so. So now we're simply bending it. So the same way you would hem um, a skirt, okay, or the same way you just simply hem something is what we're going to do here. We're going to keep ironing this all the way down. Ah, sorry now you guys understand you guys understand um what i was talking about when i said we should keep um 6.5 first three inches second three inches then half inch you see this one that we bent over this one that's the first half inch this here is three inches so by the time you consider the top part here that distance from here to here and then the distance from here to where this one will stop when we bring it down is the three inches i hope that is clear this white is, three, is um, 3 inches. By the time we collapse the gum stay, it will consume another 3 inches because of the size of the white. And the half an inch is this one here on top. So that's what happened to the 6.5 inches that I told you guys to keep. Alright, now we are on the sewing machine. Now the next thing we are going to do is, you see this part that we folded underneath and ironed like this. We are going to need to stitch from here all the way to the bottom so that it stays that way before we start working on our um, pleats. Okay, 
Okay, so now you guys see that we have hemmed the top part. Now you see the stiffness of the gum. See, look at what happens when I make a pleat. You see this? The bottom part here will be soft, but you see the way here is standing. I hope that the camera is picking up the detail. Look at how here is hard because of the, um, the hard gum slay that I have installed inside it. Here is going to keep um, here. You, yeah, the top part here will have more form than the bottom okay so now let me get my chop my tape so that we can start making the pleats now when it's time for you to start pleating what you are going to need to have at the back of your head is that you need to keep two inches for your zipper allowance like you usually do before you start considering your um, pleats okay then the next thing you would need to do is that you need to know how much um, what is your waist okay now the waist i'm using for this skirt is 30 so that's going to guide me as i'm placing along so that you don't go and end up making a long pleat that you have to trim off another thing you need to know is how large do you want the pleats to be now we are making box plates so it's going to look something like this this you see this it have this appearance then there'll be another pleat right next to it like so look at what's going on here okay so we're going to have something like this so now you need to un know how thick do you want each of these places to be because there'll be one here and as we go down there'll be another one and another one and another one so you need to know how thick do you want each of them to be okay because that's going to affect what you do here now for me what i want is i want each of them each of them to be um four inches wide so what i'm going to do is this please watch closely from the beginning here i'm going to mark out two inches for my zipper allowance first of all okay so that's out then i'm going to mark four inches okay you see this so from this my zipper um point that i've marked i hope that the camera is picking it up i'm going to mark four inches so the gap from here to here is four inches then i'm going to mark another four inches and then i'll mark the middle of this part here okay so now watch what i'm going to do i'm going to first lift here up okay and drop it on the first four inches see what i'm doing i marked from here to here is four from here to here is four from here the middle is two so watch what i'm going to do i'm going to push that two inches in and drop this one here like so so please watch what i'm doing let me let me make the first place and show you guys how this is going to work so i'm going to lift here up push here in and place here with the next four then i'm going to sew on top of this okay so now after this four i'm going to do this again i'm going to come from here i'm going to mark four mark the middle of four which is two pick up this one push this one in and you see that so now this four is touching this four you're going to need to pay close attention okay now as for the next step okay now what's the next step we're going to come from here again you see this from this new place that we just made i'm going to come from this new place i'm going to make a mark at four okay then i'm going to make a mark at four and mark the middle of four pick up this four and make it match with this four so you see this this the beginning of four and the end of four i really hope that my camera is picking up the details i'm going to take the beginning of four and match it with the end of four basically then i'm going to stitch keep stitching created the first please okay so you see this one here you see this now we have our pleats okay you can see what we have here so you've seen now we've made the first pleats now to continue you are going to come from here again like we did before you make a mark at four mark the middle of four okay lift here up take it to the to meet the other side and you're going to stitch over it once you've stitched over it you come Now we've created the second pleats okay so i'm going to keep on doing this until i get to the end now mind you as you are going along you need to measure this so i'm going to come from the beginning here remember i need to have 34 which is my waist plus um the four inches that will go for my zipper allowance that's two inches on each side i'm going to come from here so at this point i've seen that i'm at 15. so when i get close to around 28 30 i'll become more mindful because you don't want any of this place to interfere with what's happening at your zipper allowance all right so i'm going to keep going
okay so now I have gotten to okay by the time I measured from the beginning okay up until this point that I have here this point right here and I had 25 okay because it's really difficult for me to always be checking so most times just mark checkpoints okay so that you know where you are at and at this point where my pressure foot is sitting now i'm at 31 inches okay i remember the waistband is 34 so at this 31 after making the last please at 31 you want to just sew all the um sew all the way down okay so make it i'll make a mark at 34 to show that this is the end of my skirt okay and then i'm going to cut this part from here i'm going to trim that part there straight off so you can i hope that you guys can see the points right here but this is where 34 is and i'm going to chop this part here all the way down okay so when you're done with that next step is to iron Okay, so now you can see this is the top part. You can notice how here is soft and laying flat, but the top part here where we have the gum, stay, but the top part here where we have the gum stay is hard. Now the next thing we we'll need to do is the band because new skirt has a band running through right across here. Okay, so now let's make the band. For to make the band, we're going to need our gum stay once again. Okay, so now the um, for the band, remember the width the length of the band would be um, 34 that's the waist plus the um, sewing the zipper allowance but um, as for the thickness of the band we're going to use a band of only 1.5 inch, uh, inches in thickness now um, we're going to divide 34 into two because we cannot just it's better to divide and cut than to cut than to cut straight from here all the way down so um, we will divide 34 by 2 which should be roughly 16 right yeah uh, no okay 17 sorry so 17 is what we have 34 divided by 2 we have 17 let me confirm that number again okay right we have 17 okay so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to place 17 here look for where it stops okay so 17 i'm placing the 17 on this point right here and i'm measuring all the way down to look for where 17 stops all right and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a mark uh, all over 1.5 remember the same way we cut the three inches okay so i'm going to come here 1.5 Okay, then I'm going to draw a line connecting all the dots. So now that I have my line, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it out. Okay, now to the next step. Okay, so you can see here I have a piece of fabric. The same way we glued the three inches to the um, to the waist to the waist on the skirt that before we pleated is is the same thing we're going to do here. I want you to leave half an inch at the top. Okay, so leave half an inch at the top and iron this from the beginning all the way down to the end. When you get to the end and you get to the end you can you chop it off like so and then remember we kept only half inch at the top you also need only half inch under here remember we kept half inch on top of here all over the top but at the bottom here is still a bit big so we're going to trim this one here down to half an inch and then after you're done with that we're going to hem you see this part here the top and the bottom we're going to iron we're going to iron it okay so you see this we're going to bend this half an, you see this half an inch here we're going to bend it we're going to iron okay. 
Okay, when you're done with that, the next step is to head over to the sewing machine so that we can stitch this onto the, um, so we can stitch this one onto the skirt that we have here already. Okay, so you can see that this is the top part that we have um, over here. This is the top part that we have over here. Um, you see, this is the band that we just ironed and folded. It's quite easy. What we're going to do is we're going to stitch this like so from the top all the way down, okay? All right, so you see that. Please make sure that you arrange the pleats properly as you sew along, okay? So that you don't um, you don't run into problems by by accidentally scattering your pleats over the place. So make sure that everything is evenly distributed as you sew along. So now you see we've stitched the top part of the band. That's the easy part. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to stitch this, the bottom part of the band. That's this side down here. Okay. Now this is when you need to be the most careful so that you don't mess up the pleats that you have worked on. All right. You've attached the band at this the next step is to use your overlocker to finish both sides so we're going to use an overlocker finish here okay finish all the way down and i'm also going to use an, my overlocker to finish here as well all right so that's what i'm going to go and do and i'll be back okay so like i said i'll finish this side with an overlocker which is what i have done the next thing i'm going to do is remember the zipper allowance that we kept of two inches i'm now going to seal the two inches from the beginning all the way down so the space from here to where your presser foot should sit should be the two inches that you kept so now that i've locked my zipper allowance the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to head over to my uh, ironing table and I'm going to spread my zipper allowance flat like so and I'll iron it from the beginning all the way down so I'm ironing this part here to be flat like this so um, I have ironed first of all look at how the waistband is looking it's looking really really nice you see that it's looking really really nice at the waistband now if you check under here you can see that the zipper allowance has been ironed flat now I'm going to install my zipper but I'm going to use the method that I showed in how to fix um, your zipper in less than is it less than four minutes yeah but it's pretty it's pretty easy but one thing that you must know and the reason why I'm filming this is that I want to tell you please when you are fixing your zipper you know there's the top part here which is the paper bag at the top you know that's this area here okay here has the place and everything so when you want to fix your zipper do not start from the top start from the band okay so your zipper should start from the band so how that's applicable on this other part here is that we have from here to here okay from here to here is the top but from here is where the band starts from okay that's where the actual skirt length starts from and that is where you want your zip to start from okay so that's where i'm going to start my zip from if you don't see if you can't see this clearly watch my video on how to um fix a zipper it's one of the first videos on this channel Welcome to Nigeria. All right, so now when you're done with that, now I told you guys not to back stitch when you start because we'll just simply rip it from the top all the way down. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hem the bottom and that's the last thing. So I'm going to simply just hem it. Now I kept um, two inches for the hemming at the bottom but I'm going to use only one inch by folding half two times. Uh, 
and with that we are done with the skirts it just needs a lot of ironing but that's how you go about it you can see how the waistband looks it looks really really nice all right on the inside too it's really really clean everything is neat okay so i will see you guys in the next class have a lovely day bye bye